Can I have a word with you ladies? Do you know where Sally is, Mrs. Connor? Never mind, Sally. Right, I've got an announcement. What's going on? Oh. Well, I never thought I'd see the day, and I can't quite believe I'm saying this, but, um, ladies, I'm selling out to Frank. I'm sorry. So from now on, he will be your sole boss. I don't feel good about it. I'm not getting any happiness from it. But, um, well, I'm just sorry if you feel like I've let you down in any way. We don't feel like that, Mrs. Connor. Thanks, Haley. I took this place over from Paul and Liam. And we've got a lot of memories here, haven't we? But I hope you understand that um, I have to do this. And I hope you understand what I mean when I say that I just can't work with him anymore. Okay? I'm really sorry. I'm the one that's sorry, Carla. Well, don't be. He's won! No, he thinks he has. How do you mean? Look, I know I'm selling at a ridiculously low price, but I've managed to get a massive order with Jenny Sumner. And that's more than going to make up for it, believe me. Oh, look what the cat's dragged in. Can't make it to work, but she can make it to pub. Look. Whatever you think about Frank, he has come up trumps. Yeah, I suppose he's drummed up business, hasn't he? Given Underworld a future. You are joking, aren't you? Oh, Sally, are you OK? Frank doesn't give this about anybody but himself. And if anyone thinks any different, then you're living in cloud cuckoo world. He was rattled your cage. He did. Frank. Have you two had a row, Sally? Did you know that in future, Frank's going to be outsourcing all your work? He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about Underworld. He just cares about himself. What are you going on about, Sally? What, is this why you didn't come into work? You really don't want to know. Not giving us work in the future, I think we should just down tools. Too flipping right. Look, will you not stop panicking? Right, I happen to know for a fact that Carla's got work for all of us once she gets this order from her mate. What, who's her mate? Jenny. She's going to bring a load of orders Carla's way. It's brilliant. Jenny? Well, that's fantastic. Right. Yeah, and I'm talking the sort of orders that are going to keep her in business for ages. So just wait till she starts recruiting. It'll be any day now. Jenny Sumner. Ooh. Michelle, Jenny is no friend of Carla's. Yes, she is. Jenny and Frank are seeing each other. They've been sleeping together. This is some sort of a scam. You are joking. Ah, there is nothing about that man that I find the slightest bit amusing. I've got to stop Carla from signing that contract. I don't get it. Well, it looks like someone's double-crossed Carla. So we won't have a job? Yeah, of course she wouldn't sell the factory if she didn't think we had any work to go to. Oh, poor Mrs Connor. Poor us. Pleasure doing business with you. I've hated every minute of it. And you've hated me every minute. But still, you shut off me now, aren't you? And see this? It's officially a smile. Carla! Carla! What's wrong, you all right? No, don't sign the papers. She already has. Oh, you're vile, Frank Foster, vile. I signed them because I want red. Anyway, you don't know what I've got on my sleeve. Oh, I'm sure he's fast enough. There's something you need to know. No, there's something he needs to know, actually. You see, Frank, I've won. Have you? Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something else. I am so going to stick it to you where it hurts because with this money, I am setting up my own rival factory. Sorry, is this going to take long? Why don't you got... wipe that false smile off your face? You know, I've got one glittering order to kick it all off with. I don't think you have, darling. I know you haven't. Don't spoil it for me. What's going on? Have you met my new partner? Oh, hi, Carla. I think you'll find that there is no order. The icing on the cake, Underworld, is mine. How could you do this? Sorry. Anne only told me about Jenny you, yesterday, Carla. You gave birth to that monster. First he rapes her and then he takes oh, everything oh, 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 else she's got please, away from her. We don't take lessons in morality from alcoholic adulterers. How are you getting on with the gambling commission? It's amazing how much damage you can cause from one little phone call. I've signed already. There's nothing we can do. He can let me kick his face no. in. Carla, take him home. Give him another drink. Please stop it. Stop it. Okay, let's just go. Come on. 
Let's go. Go. He really has go. Ooh, sticks and stones. <sighs> Sally, I don't think I would have got through this nightmare if it wasn't for you. So thank you. But it was never going to last, was it? Oh, I cared about you. I know. I made sacrifices for you. I put my neck on the line for you. Peter's right, you're a monster! In life, there are winners and there are losers. At least for a short time, you were a winner. <sighs> Do us a favour, Michelle, take her home. She's upset at me, Mum. <sighs> Come on, Sally, love. Hey, Sally. Not now, Kevin. Yeah, but... Just leave it, please. Well, we were too late. Carla's already signed the contract. Oh. So Frank owns the factory? So we're all going to be sacked? Well, we don't know that for sure. According to Sally, we do. Ah, oh, this is a total nightmare. Yeah, for all of us. Just going to go and look in the back. You sneaky little... Oh. Right, yeah. Oh. Aye, right, that's better. Right, let, let's not get too depressed, yeah? There, there might be something we can do. Why like what? Like, talk to him. This Jenny might want to keep the factory going. Yeah, Ailey's right. We shouldn't just give him. We need to fight for our job. Oh, I love a fight. Bring it on. Fight for our dignity. Fight for the future of our unborn children. Look, I'll do anything I can to help you. Well, it's really hard to talk in here. Why don't we go to cafe and, and sort out a proper plan of action, eh? Oh, good thinking. I can't hear myself think. I vote Hayley our leader. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'll second that. Oh, well, let's make a plan for this. Oh, girls, come on. Oh, Carl, turn it down. Sorry, love, I can't hear you. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, in a minute. I thought you knew. Creeping up on me. Somebody should. What do you want? A lot of people are losing their jobs. It's not my problem. What are you going to do with this building? Oh, it's going to be a warehouse shipping products across the whole country. You can get warehouse space anywhere. Lease the factory to me. I'll make it work. We could even supply you. Is this Carla's idea? No. It's business. Look, you have got a fully equipped factory here and a highly skilled workforce. You really going to waste all that? Yes, I am. Nice try, Michelle. But there'll never be another pair of knickers stitched in this factory again. On the other hand, I'm sure I could find space in my empire for someone as bright and as attractive as you. I would rather stick pins in my eyes. Oh, well, in that case, get out. Can I get my stuff? What stuff? In my desk. Pictures of my son. Oh, go on then. You got two minutes. Martin, what can I do for you? Yes, well, things are moving quite quickly on that front, actually. Yeah. I should have seen.